Greetings my friends and welcome to the best farming path for Zenny in the jungle in Monster Hunter Rise. As always, first things first, do excuse my bad English. Now, this time we are going to talk about numbers first and then I'm gonna show you the farming path because it is that easy. I did this path 10 times. Five times with a random pelico and five times with a farming collecting pelico. You know, those with the specialty of collecting. I don't know how they are called in English. I hope you know what I mean. Now, as you might know, I hate editing videos and I will never edit a video. So brace yourself. This will look very, very ugly. <laughs> this are the results of me farming that path without a collecting polico. I get an average of 213,000 zenny per run and these are the results of me using that set collecting polico. 217,000 zenny per run. The collecting polico is worth if you want to stay in an expedition for a very long time even if you want to farm for like a very long time and want to stay in inside the expedition uh, slaying some monsters whenever the bonus isn't up or whatever then those pedicles are worth it if you are just going to enter the expedition go the farming path and exit the expedition to keep the bonus the choice of pedico doesn't matter at all. It is completely down to your luck. Now, we are going to walk or ride along the farming path and you will see it is very easy to pull off. It will take you roughly 3 minutes and 30 seconds up to 3 minutes and 50 seconds something in between that time frame it is an easy path you can't really do that much mistakes and even if you do it doesn't matter at all because you have that much spare time and just because of that i will not use the dash button on the uh, padamut we will just walk extremely relaxed and you will see it is extremely easy to pull this off and um, it is a very relaxed path because you don't need to do some crazy adventuring. You don't need crazy wirebox skills. You don't need to fast travel. You can just relax, walk the path, think about your life. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you do, listen to music. Uh, I should have said listen to music. I I'm listening to music normally when I farm, obviously. Now... You collect the mining spots down here first. You only left one at the six and that's it. And there we go. There are multiple ways to go a bit faster with dashing on certain spots. Um, but honestly, you don't need it, right? You just don't need it. Where back? And there we go. And up there where the rocks are is the next spot. Now you're going to jump through the trees and aim for the water. And this is important, I'm gonna stop here, because this is the only time you need to explain something in this route. We're gonna jump with this wire bug now. If we are up in the air, we press B to jump as, as soon as possible. And then there is a wire bug in the air. We wire bug in his direction, press A to hang, and then we aim perfectly at him and jump at him while spamming A. And once you are in the air, you continue to spam A. That's it. It is that simple, you will see. I press B. There's a wire bug, wire bug. A. You can wait. Jump and spam A. Easy. It is that simple. 
And we continue to spam A. And fly around the map. The reason this is the best farming path is because there are multiple ways to get this done faster. There are multiple possibilities for you to use shortcuts and dashes, really a lot of dashes. And you collect every single farming spot on the map. Now, if you don't hit this cave perfectly, just jump from the wall press a in the air wait a few seconds and then jump precisely in the cave with b it is pretty simple and like i said you really have the time to spare no problem it it really is not a big deal if you mess up once or twice but in general you won't because this is that easy and as you saw even if you fail the Palamut jump, you have enough wire box. Here I tend to use the call for my Palamut rather early when I enter the cave because he takes forever to come to me in this cave. I don't know why he takes so long, but well. And if you stop sprinting like this and walk and press B, you can use this faster. Now, look for the tree and try to land here to get a feeling because it is right here right right here if you get a good feeling for where this is you can just jump around it with wire box now you see those trees up there jump through through this hole and even though i took the time to explain you all of this I still have roughly half a minute left. It is that simple. If I do this as fast as I can, I get it done in 3 minutes 30 seconds, meaning 3 minutes 30 seconds farming, instantly going back to base, restart the mission and farm again. You can farm a lot of Zenny in a very short time. But... To be honest, if I am lucky, I get more Zenny if I do that farming path in the lava magma cavern thingy. But I don't have it at master rank here and I just wanted to show the jungle thing. So that's that. But if I gain access to master rank magma cavern area that will obviously be still the best farming area right i released a guide on where are the spots which path you should take and you get like what was it 23 farming spots in five minutes that one is, will be better i hope <laughs> but for the time being this is a very relaxed farming method right this is really even if you jump somewhere down the map you have the time to recover it is it is so relaxing and those giant wire bug moves with the big wire box i love them well yes that's about it i hope you have a fun time farming and a relaxed time farming see you